Welcome to this week's GCN Tech Clinic. In this video, we have picked out some of the questions that you have been commenting underneath our usual videos using the hashtag AskGCNTech, and then we're gonna to aim to answer them as best we can and share our wisdom and advice. Yeah. This is Isaac, he's from GMBN, he's gonna help yep. us out for the day. I'll do my best. First question. First Hit question us. is from HNY Remo. Yeah. And it says, hi GCN Tech, do you know how in pro racing, the mechanics get the race leader's bike painted in pink for the Giro, maybe yellow for the Tour de France, ready so quick? Do they prepare it in advance? Do they paint it overnight? And will the bike be repainted after the race? Or do they keep it as a souvenir? <laughs> I don't think they're going to repaint it after the race. No, I think you, might, you might see it up in a manufacturer's uh, office or something. This is an interesting question. I was discussing the other week with somebody, actually. So, mm. um, big teams that have gone to a race, like the Giro or the Tour, with a real, I guess, hopeful in terms of getting mm -hmm. a GC position, are probably just going to take a frame painted in the correct colour, in the correct size for their GC leader, yeah. and have it stashed away, hidden in the mechanics truck, so that nobody sees it and thinks that they're too presumptuous. Yeah, but if say someone wins GC overall that was maybe an outsider or it was unexpected, sometimes the frames are literally painted the night before and then flown to the where the final stage is. And in some instances, the paint is almost still soft. It's only just yeah. dry enough to touch, um, which is kind of crazy. That's mad, isn't it? Um, so yeah, a bit of both is the answer to that, basically. Which means, right, next question is from at rob-fc2zt. Interesting <laughs> username. Um, they say they're thinking of using even easy gears in their current 105 7000, 3450, and the 1134 tooth cassette in an attempt to take on some killer Lake District climbs. Would it be best to go for a subcompact chain set, such as Shimano GRX, or go for a wider range cassette, say a mountain bike 11 to 40 tooth, with um, what they say is a wolf tooth road link, so they're like mech hanger extender. Mm. Um, what would be your thoughts? They're getting mixed messages about this. Yeah, uh, my initial thoughts yeah. was actually <clears throat> when you think about how road derailers work with the cassettes. Yeah. And I know there's a couple of different brands have nubbins to, yeah. to help you run a bigger cassette. It was actually maybe just to swap out the crank set because you're not interfering with the way the derailleur swings through yeah. the cassette and it's going to shift better. Um, but you also made the point about um, why you might want a crank set. Yeah. Well, I guess if you buy, in my mind, buying a crank is quite an expensive outlay. Yeah, mm. it's an expensive part to buy. Whereas if you only want to set your bike up for one or two rides, if you're going somewhere, I think it's cheaper to buy a cassette and a mech hanger extender yeah. than it is to invest in a whole crank set. Um, yeah. That would be my thought. I would go along the lines of the cassette and hanger, but your thought is that it doesn't necessarily put the mech in the optimal yeah, position. I don't, it, that, maybe they actually work perfectly, yeah. but that's just what I thought. All right. Um, well. You've still got mixed messages from both of us, <laughs> yeah, really. Sorry. Take your pick on what's most uh, important to you. Cheapest option, cassette and a mech hanger extender. There you go. Nice. Um, what question's in next? So next, from Ash Kanazi 56 Hi team, thanks for all the great content. I'll, I'll oh, yeah, you know, take I'll that. put that on yeah. you, really. Um, just a quick question about cleaning the brushes I use to clean my drivetrain. I find the brushes get quite greasy and dirty after a few uses, and uh, rather than cleaning my drivetrain, they just seem to spread the grease around. Oh, nightmare. Rather not buy any brushes, so um, any suggestions for them? <laughs> yeah, I've got I mean, a good suggestion. Your... My good suggestion, it sounds like you need to use a stronger degreaser. Yeah, because that's what I've, I've <laughs> yeah. used, uh, you know, plastic brushes on yeah. my drivetrain, and I usually just uh, rinse the brush out yeah. afterwards. And because it's still, it's got the degrees are on it, so it obviously they do get dirty yeah. eventually. But um, that seems to be fine for me. So yeah. just maybe think about different degreasers. Yeah, I would say if it's not breaking the grease off of the brush, it's because it's not breaking it off of the chain as well. Yeah. So try a new degreaser, and away you go. Next question in is from Sean Z two six eight eight. They say they have multiple bikes now. Oh, lucky them. Um, but they've only got one power meter. Oh, sad times. Um, and they're currently swapping the crank backwards and forwards. So their yeah. question is, can they program two crank sets into their Wahoo Element Bolt computer, or should they get power meter pedals and keep switching them around? That's well, an easy, easy answer to this. You can have more than one power meter or any sensor paired up to a yeah. head unit, and then when you go for a ride and you choose which bike you're gonna ride, you'll select all the available sensors on your head unit and choose the one which matches up to that bike. 
pretty yeah, simple cool. scenario. To, yeah, there you go. Next one, who have we got? Next one, we've got Chris James, 9710. Hi team, uh, why is cross-chaining frowned upon on a two-by setup, but perfectly fine for one-by? Uh, um, do you want to go with yeah, this? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's, it's not ideal to yeah. get the extreme chain angles on one-by, but because it, you've only got the one chain ring, it, they tend to be mounted a little bit more in the middle of where you'd have both chain rings on a two-by, mm -hmm. so you don't get as, as extreme a, a, a chain angle, whereas if you're in the big ring of a two-by and right up the cassette, yeah. and um, they're often maybe narrow wide chain rings as well, so it grips the chain a bit better, so you, you're not gonna pull the chain off yeah. cross-chaining. Okay. Also, there's, there's no other option. You yeah. can't optimize your chain line by keeping it parallel to the frame in the Yeah, I think it's frowned ring, upon so on just, a two by set because yeah. in theory have got the option to not have to cross chain. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Um, next one is from Imagine2035. What do you do after a thousand kilometers with a wax chain? How do I get rid of the old wax or do I put new wax on top of the old? That simple, easiest way to get wax off of your used chain it's just boiling water, the wax yeah, comes straight just off. Melt it off right? And then um, dip it in fresh stuff. Easy. Um, that means last question for this week. Isaac, take it away. So it's Cole Sims 7151. Uh, yeah. Not Cole Sims yeah. 7515, that's someone else. Um, as a new rider, four months, three watts per kilo FTP. Mm. Should I wait to do zone two training once my training, uh, my progress plateaus, or will I improve faster doing harder intensity rides? What do you think, Alex? Um, You've done a lot of zone two of the years. <laughs> I've done a lot of zone two yeah, rides. Me too. So I would say um, training is kind of like how you would approach maybe say your diet. You've got to have mm -hmm. a balance of everything. Yeah. There's certainly no point in approaching it going, oh, I'm fairly new, I don't need to do this, this, and this. Because no. I think you do, it's about ticking the boxes for each different system of how your body works, be it aerobically, anaerobically. And for a new rider, the best advice I would give is just to get out, ride your bike, enjoy it, and get riding with people that are generally of a slightly better level than you. Yeah. That'll help you progress the most. Definitely, I agree. I think there's two quick points to add on that. Firstly, when you say you are doing a zone two ride, yeah. something that I found really useful is like making sure that is a zone two ride. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and whatever it is you're doing, trying to commit to doing that properly. I'm gonna, yeah. well, not properly, but you know. Not like, getting carried away. Not getting carried away. But at the same time, you have to have a bit of perspective with it. Don't stop it being fun. Don't not race your mates or yeah. whatever else it is. Oh yeah. no, I'm doing zone two. So it's a bit <laughs> of a balance, but um, yeah, that's what I'd I think, say. Well, Just let's do a say bit balance. Of thing, really. yeah. balance, balance is balance the key is, thing. Is really good. Right, that is it. That was our last question. As always, if we didn't answer your question, I can only apologise. Isaac is going to stay here all week and get through each yeah, question individually. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, right, keep commenting your questions in the comment section down below. We'll pick them up in the coming weeks. Right, rather. See you later. Cheers, mate.